Let's have a look at the compare listing tool on eRank. We get to it from your blue toolbar across the top of every eRank page. It's in listings, compare listings. And this allows you to compare up to four listings all at one time. To do this, you need to fill in your listing ID in each of the boxes. The listing ID is the string of numbers in each of your listings. You can get this listing ID by clicking on any of your listings in Etsy and then finding and copying that string of numbers somewhere in the middle of the, your URL. Or eRank makes this much easier for you. If you go into listings links, then you see all your listings lined up here. And handily and conveniently, you see the listing ID right next to them. Now you can sort for search for the items that you're looking for by typing in part of your title into the filter box and then copy and paste your listing ID. Once you've added the IDs of the listings that you want to compare, you just hit the compare button and this brings up all your data. It shows your listings side by side so you can compare many metrics. The daily views, the total views, age, hearts, quantity available, processing time, image count, dates, categories and tags. Seeing listings like this side by side may help identify small differences to give you an idea of why one listing might be doing slightly better than others, why it might be performing better with your customers. For example, in this comparison I've got up, one of my items is doing slightly better and I look and see it's actually in a more specific category than the others. Could that be the difference? Certainly worth investigating. But wait, that is not all. Not only can you compare your own listings, you can compare any of your competitors' listings, either with each other or with yourself. You can snoop on your competitors. You get their listing ID the exact same way as you get your own by going into Etsy and then clicking on their listing and searching for this little string of numbers in the URL, copying that over and pasting that into the ID box. And this brings up the exact same data for your competitors, so you can compare them as well. And I can be thinking, why is that item ranking so high on the search front page when mine isn't? I can see in this example, their daily views are much higher than mine. Although my total views are about the same, this is a newer item, so their view velocity, their number of views per day is higher than mine, which makes sense. Eatsy's going to like it better than mine. But not only that, it's in a different category than what I'd considered in the past. So this is certainly one I'm going to think about. And when I look at their tags, I can also see that they're using very specific tags to what the product is. There's nothing about gift for woman, this for him, that, that and the other thing. This is all focused very much in on what this item exactly is. And it is an absolutely adorable photograph. So I can understand why customers are loving this item. It is adorable. So if it's being found, it's sure to be being clicked on. But I can take some ideas from this. Bear in mind, though, there are some metrics that we just can't know. This shop might have a massive social media presence. It might have been featured on TV. It could be driving traffic from lots of other places. We just don't know this. But by comparing, I can at least get some ideas to test. But a word of warning, no matter what another shop's doing or how awesome these things look, do not change your best performing listings. They're your best performing listings. Work on new listings or listings that aren't performing so well. And always check back into your shop stats to see how well these terms are performing for you. Every shop, every item, every niche is slightly different. Even if you think that shop is identical to you. They aren't. They have sl something slightly different about them. So what works for them might not exactly work for you. So we need to experiment, get new ideas, test new things, but also check and see if they're working. I hope that helps you understand the compare listing tool on eRank. Thank you so much and don't forget to come back often for more videos.